In this lesson, we're going to create the show list. Now, this define what images you want to be shown in a particular gallery. So if you have something for a wedding, vacation, school, whatever it is, this is where you can define what images are going to be shown. All right, so you want to click on where it's, you have this icon here. Just click on it. And then you want to choose the name for it. So I'm just going to put in here Joomla Core and make sure it's published. And then when you come on this side for the image detail here, you have the option to overwrite the title, the description, the link, and you can set your permission here. Now, do you want this to be accessible to the public? Or do you want it to be accessible just to registered users? There are times when, you know, if you have a membership website or you want to, you know, reserve access to certain people, then you can choose this here. But once again, this course does not go into details about the access levels. So if you choose, you know, something other than just public right now, then people would have to log in in order for them to see that. And then the authorization message, you can just leave that. If the author just message is just saying that when someone logs in, you know, what message do they receive? And then for this here, the, the miscellaneous, you want to leave those as they are. All right, so let's move over to the image source. Right now, the image source here is blank. What you want to do is you want to click on save show list. This is going to generate the several options that you have for your images. So right now, by default, you have the image folder and you have Picasa that is currently being used. So if you want to install the other modules, then you would have to click on each one. So let's go ahead right now and we're just going to install uh, everything here because we're going to be creating different ones and we're going to be pulling images from each one here. So let's click on the Flickr and give it a second to install it. Now it's asking you here for the Flickr uh, information, which we're going to get that later on. You need to the, the profile title, the API key. So don't worry about that for now. Just click on close. And you want to do the same for all of these here. And what's going to happen is that it's going to install it. By installing it, you're going to have the option of selecting those as your image source. And when you're installing one of the options here, if you get something like this, you just want to go to change image source and it's going to take you back for you to continue installing. So when you click on the focal gallery one, then it takes you to that place for you to select the images. But we're not ready to do that yet. So you want to click on the zoom. OK, you want to go back here where it says change image source. And we're not worrying about an API information at the moment. Instagram. Let's close that out. And then finally, the image shack. OK, so now you have all these that have been installed. So you can pull an image from any one of these. So if you have some images on Facebook or from the from your core website that you've uploaded or from Flickr, from image shack, Instagram or Zoom gallery, photo focal gallery and Picasa, you can now pull images from that. So let's start by making our selection here. The first one that we're going to do is we want to pull the images from the core Joomla. So you want to click on the folder. And when you click on it, you have several options in this left hand column where it says folder. And if you notice, you have the, the gallery one that we created. So click on the gallery one. And once you click on it, you have the option here of selecting multiple images. So what I'm doing now is on my keyboard on the Mac keyboard, I'm holding down command and I'm selecting these instead of having, you know, one at a time. So for, for Mac is command. You press command key down and then you click with your mouse for Windows is control. So once you make your selection, then you can just drag it and just drop it. So when you drag and drop, it gives it takes a few seconds or so based on the, the number of images that you are transferring. So once you've done that, then you can, you know, be able to to come there and you can also edit the images. You click on the edit. This is where you can put in the image title. You can put in the alt text. And by the way, all text are, is really great for SEO purposes. And you can put in the image description here. 
and then you can put in this is where the link is linking to the particular image all right so you want to click on save and then you want to click on save again so when you click on the drop down now you should have a joomla core